All right, got that old nasty vanity out of there. All I did was turn off these valves here, righty tighty, okay? Um, hopefully, I mean, these valves are old, but these ones seem to be holding. Just make sure that sometimes, just because you turn it off, doesn't mean that the water's gonna stop flowing because the valve may be so old that um, the gas gets inside of it or, or worn out or mechanically it's just not working um, or it just needs to be repacked. So keep that in mind, have some extra valves on hand ready to go just in case. I'm gonna replace these anyway because I don't like these, these type. Uh, I got some quarter turn valves that are really nice and sleek. Same with this, so also make sure before you remove that vanity, especially if that sink is part of the vanity itself, that you uh, that you loosen up the the, the nuts for the P-trap and then take everything apart so that there's nothing connected. Also make sure you take away those 3 8 inch uh, uh, seal hose for the, the faucet supply. And then once those are disconnected, you can, this one didn't have anything caulked against the wall like the vanity should be. So it made it nice and nice and easy. So I pulled that out. Also helps if your vanity is really heavy uh, to go ahead and uh, pull out the drawers. It'll help carrying it a lot easier. And then for the toilet, once I shut off the valve here for the water, I flushed it a few times. I'll take off this top of the tank. And you see that's pretty empty down there. If you have a lot left over, actually that's not fully empty. So I'm gonna take a lot of that out of there because trying to pull this toilet off of here and not taking up all that water, it's gonna cause some problems for you because the water's gonna slosh everywhere. If you, don't, if you don't care and the whole house is being remodeled, then do whatever you want. Also good to soak out this water from inside the toilet. A little nastier, but um, definitely make your job a lot easier. So. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna score all this caulk around because that's gonna help keep it on there. And I'm gonna loosen up these nasty grimy uh, nuts holding down those, sucking the, the, the toilet tight to the bolts, the floor bolts. So then you can pull it right off of there and then stuff that uh, drain pipe full of something like an old towel so you don't get those sewer gases coming up because it's nasty. All right, I'll check back in a few.